human rights activist Caroline Wafer bled to death from a ruptured uterus, an autopsy shows. The postmortem conducted yesterday by family pathologist Pete and Degua showed Caroline's male fetus was mutilated by surgical interference. The autopsy was conducted at a MASH funeral home in Nairobi. Somebody mutilated the fetus, it has no one left upper limb, it has no brain because it has been sucked out and the bones of the skull are fractured, Degua said. Chief Government Pathologist Dr. Johansson Ojua supervised the examination. Degua's description of the injuries indicate Caroline died a painful death. The anatomical analysis, Degua said, showed the fetus had come out of the uterus to the abdominal cavity where a lot of blood was found. Degua said the uterus had been perforated at the back leaving a very big gaping hole. Therefore, what we are seeing is that somebody somewhere somehow attempted to either dismember the fetus or remove some parts. The pathologist said, other than the body turning pale to symbolize excessive loss of blood, there were no signs of defensive injuries on Carolyn's body. We also found that there were needle puncture marks on the cubital fossa meaning there was some medical intervention, Degua said. The cubital fossa is the medical term for the area inside the elbow joint. He said samples have been taken from the body for toxicological analysis to establish the type of medicine Caroline was injected with. The postmortem was witnessed by Haki African on behalf of the Human Rights Fraternity. Also present was Carolyn Wather's family members and Dandora Community Justice Center where Caro worked. The postmortem throws the ball in the investigator's court. Degua said they need to establish whether the attempted abortion was voluntary or forced. This is where we need the police officers and other investigators to find out the circumstantial evidence. Was it done when she was conscious or unconscious? Degua asked.